Hey guys, so we have some different content. This will not be a business um, related series, but with everything that's going on in the world, this are some things that I've been doing to kind of prepare myself and my family for if the crap hits the fan, okay? So if you want to come on this journey with us, then by all means, follow our series and let's get started. So today, first thing we're going to do is I bought a brand new mortar and pestle. So before we can use it for the first time, we actually have to season it. So I've done this one before. I've never actually had a, um, this one's actually made up from granite. Um, I've usually always had one that's made from wood and it's a little bit smaller. So um, this, I'm gonna be doing this for the first time with y'all. So first thing you wanna do is not use soap, but you want to make sure that you rinse out your mortar and pestle uh, very, very thoroughly with some running water. And if you have like a bristle brush, again, no soap, make sure that you get all that debris off. And then after that, the very next important step is to make sure that you let it air dry completely before we can move forward. So while we wait on that to dry, let's talk about what we can use a mortar and pestle for. Um, traditionally, what I've always used it for is to make um, an ajo paste or a garlic paste. And that's usually what I use to like marinate my meats and stuff like that. Um, it works really well. But the reason I got a larger and a granite one this time is because I also want to be able to use it to um, powder things. Um, examples of things you can powder are dehydrated vegetables, um, say garlic, onions, stuff like that. You can make your own garlic powder, uh, onion powder, things like that. You can make um, lots of vegetable powders that you can um, use for storage and things like that and um, be able to keep them a little more condensed without using a whole lot of space. Now, yes, of course, you can use a high pressure blender to um, make these powders while we can. But this for me is in the case that power goes out or um, things are not readily available like electricity for my blender. So if you ever find yourself having to grind your own flour to make some bread, that's another option. Yes, is it going to be time consuming and tedious? Absolutely. But when you don't have any other choice, you want to have the option. Add one third cup and cook rice. Use some elbow grease. Now we make a paste. Then rinse no soap and let air dry before first use. 